So this is going to be... Ho Chi Grain Trains. That's going to go from here to here. And then Ho Chi Food Trains going to go from here to Cargo. We're going to have to upgrade that station there's no way it's gonna cope no way now it's a two to one ratio so we're not gonna need a big food train sandbox fans Right, so the food goes in a box car, the grain goes in a gondola. Accumulates a fortune of ten million dollars. That's over nine thousand. That's speed limited to fifty fifty Ks. So there's no point buying this because it has the same tractive effort as the B, but it goes faster. And there's no point because the cargo is limited to 50 anyway. So you might as well get the class B. It's either that or you go for something like this, which has way more attractive effort and move a lot more of the stuff around. One eight to nine a year as opposed to 145. You know what? Let's go with this. It's higher purchase. But I think for the grain, it's worth it. Definitely worth it for the grain. Hundred and sixteen meters. Mediocre performance. Let's get that going. Um, let's double check it's all working. Why did it go here first, come back? Considering there's nothing inside the cargo, you'd think it would go a lot quicker. Five new vehicles. Oh, you absolute scumbag. I literally just bought a train and faster. Oh, my God. Look at that. Now the 80k capacity 12 gondola, as opposed to the 50k 7 capacity gondola, literally comes out as a buyer train. Oh my god. I'm taking it back to the depot and I'm going to replace the cars on the back. Bro, where you going? I just told this thing to go back to the depot. What the heck? Oh my god. Now it's going to waste a load of cargo as well.
Yeah, but I don't understand why it had no root from that. Because it clearly does. I'm not going to reverse it on a one-way track. Oh, boy. <laughs> How you doing? Let's try again. Did you start a fresh game? Yes. I never mix my YouTube and stream stuff. It's not fair on either, either people who watch stream or YouTube. I would never start on one YouTube and then continue on stream or vice versa. Have transport fever one simulation X. That's a lot of grain. Right, it's a slight issue. Train comes out here, it can't get onto that line. We need a crossover here, which I'm not sure is possible. What do you mean, change the train? There's nothing wrong with the train. Depots are too cheap, to be honest. Big box car.
there's going to be a problem here now. There's just too much going on. Yeah, but that train's a lot more expensive as well. Just that. Looks like a nineteen oh two version of a smart car. I need these trains to get out of here so I can do some work. Mind that icon. Right, so these two are dedicated cargo, these two are dedicated passenger. That's the idea of that. Now I'm going to mess about with this. What's the best way of doing this? <clears throat> if I said we're going to put two lines into four. So you kind of need to be able to switch over. I guess what you need is... Gonna need that. Let's go back. Roundabouts. Don't think they put roundabouts in. So we got that, <clears throat> and then that needs to go there. 
but it also needs to come here. Wow, game's really like that one. <coughs> I guess you're looking at something like that. Crazy setup. Although I kind of feel like this junction here should be pushed a bit further back. Because you've got a contention here that I have to put signals there. And then that gap to here is not long enough. I think. Let's let that get out of the way. Like that. I think it's the right idea. Because we need on that. And one before we go in. If what? If you treat the platforms as arrivals and departure groups, it will be easier because now effectively because of the crossover is like you have one line. How can you have an... I don't understand what you mean, an arrival and departure group. Because if they, if they, if they arrive on this platform, let's say call it one, then how do they get back onto the outbound line? Like somehow they've got to come in and go back out, which is the whole point of the crossover. So you, you've got two platforms for passengers and two for cargo. So now we can use both those cargos and have passengers come into a, a place on their own. If I've done it right. Now my food's gone cold. This city's going to grow now because they're going to start getting food as well.
this needs trams. 100% that needs trams. Taking like three people at a time at the moment. Having said that, I think there's some new passenger things. A diesel? Capacity of five? To be honest, I think I prefer the tram. I don't know, I need to check the emissions. Hang on. That's 63 and 71 for the diesel. Sixty-seven and seventy-nine. So <clears throat> the tram is slightly more emitting, but carries like three times the people. So yeah, it's much more efficient. Trammify the whole thing. <coughs> there are the trams are less noisy because you need less fewer trams to carry the same amount of people. If a tram goes past somebody's house, it's slightly slightly noisier, but it has more people on board. So the tram itself is not less noisy, it's just that it's more efficient in terms of the number of people it can carry for a given amount of emissions. And they're a lot cool. No way, look at that guy's car. Whoa, no, dude. Come on. Look at this. She's traveling in style. Single seat, mid engine. Look at this. I like that car. Oh no, she's actually left. She's actually sat on the left side. Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> and she disappeared again. That's where she lives. Apparently she lives here. She lives in that house. Because we just stalked her. It's 
see how this contention works. That's pretty good. Food train lost a lot of money in the first year. It's starting to break even now. Let's have a look how the grain's getting on. Okay, it's got eight six stored and it's just about getting a resupply. That thing made money last year. It's not gonna full train, full consist. Flying Greenland, thank you for eight months. Uh sold the power, welcome back. It's happy on production, it's not so happy on shipment. Which is not surprising, we've only got one train running, but... If we can start getting some food out of there to um, Shanghai... Sorry, not Shanghai, Pyongyang. If we can get some food into here, life will be good. I don't think Ho Chi is doing particularly well on food. Like, there's a lot more capacity there. But we'll give it a chance to get going. I want to give it another distribution outlet, though. I'd like to bring it down to Pyongyang. The problem with Pyongyang is just like... Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of people. Did I mean to call that Shanghai? <laughs> I'm guessing I didn't. Right, we need to look at the transport situation here. <laughs> Quite clearly. <coughs> okay, finances are good on that line. I'm quite happy to add another train, I think. It's a class PV. We could upgrade them. We could upgrade the existing trains and make them go faster. What is this one? That's a PV. Which goes 64 Ks. <coughs> the fastest we could make it go is, in fact, 64 Ks. However, I've got a feeling it's got the Russell Belt passenger wagon, which is limited to 60. There's only really 4Ks in it, it's not worth it. I think we'll just clone the train. Uh, Danny QFG, thank you for gifting a sub to Crucio. Welcome, Crucio, to the Nut House. <coughs> that spice is making me uh, cough a bit. Another thing I don't like about the clone selected vehicle, the clone tool is wonderful, but it doesn't tell you how much it's going to cost. So I click on clone and it's like, oh, you've got enough money. The first two times you don't have enough money, but I don't know how much I need. The Coloma. Is that a tram? That looks like a tram. Thirty kilometers. Yeah, it's not a bad little tram. I think we're going to have to reconfigure this and have two cargo lines two passenger lines like at ho chi Minh, and then i'm thinking quite possibly four track in the section of track here i have two going off that way so we've got these two come in 
and these two come in <coughs> and I have some crossover. Because we need to get cargo into here and this is a bit of a mess. <laughs> So we'll wait till we've got a little bit more money and then do it. That main line's busy. Yeah, this needs to be four track. At some point we're going to have to think about either bridging this or tunneling it or bridging this. I don't think it's slowing things down a massive amount, but, you know, the cargo train interrupting the passenger train is a bit annoying. Can the game handle four tracks to a train switching to pass slower ones? It can handle four tracks. You, how you set up the signals is up to you, but there's no concept of faster trains and slower trains. You can't prioritize trains, as far as I'm aware. Now, whether a mod... Whether there was a mod for TF1 that could do that, I don't know. But it's not in the base game, I don't think. I've not seen anything to do it. Discord's having issues. Yay! Wow. This thing just grows and grows. That's a lot of material. Disconnect that. <clears throat> you can have slow and fast lines, but you use waypoints and manually put freight on slow. Yeah, okay. Well, what I meant by that prioritizing was if two trains approach a signal contention block, had you know you can tell one to have priority over the other. You can't do that. What spec are you thinking for your new gaming PC? I have been pondering this long and hard and watching lots of videos on it. But my current thought, my current thought is I might try and go back to one PC for streaming and gaming. And to do that, I'd need to get something like a 6950 Ryzen. Don't think Threadrep is in the right choice for what I do. I think the 6950 is probably the best choice. Sorry, 3950, not 6950. 3950. 3950X. Because I think that will probably crunch and record. I can probably game and record on that. Game, record, and stream on it. I think it'll handle everything. But if it didn't, my fallback plan would be to either carry on with this existing streaming PC for streaming or do something else. I don't know. I'd have to test it. I'd have to build it and test it. I'm not going to find out unless I build it and test it. Only 750. To be honest, <clears throat> for what you get for your money, it's pretty good. And I'd probably, you know, I'll spend... I'll be buying, like, NVMe drives as well, so if the motherboard doesn't have enough slots, I'll have to buy a PCIe card and put more in there, which is another reason I want the Ryzen chips because of um, 4.0 support. And the amount, the amount of PCI lanes you get, you get more lanes. Yeah, I was getting mixed up, bro. Wrong, obviously. 
Right, this train's about to leave. It's an opportunity here to reconfigure. Aye, 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 aye. Go on, keep going, bro. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No, don't stop now. No. Right. The new vehicle, the Russian class, is available. Let's have a look at the build on that. 150 attractive 75 top speed wow now that's a passenger train that is we should definitely upgrade the passenger trains with that particularly on this main line sf giants thanks for this tf2 stream you're welcome bro right so let's see trash 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 Right, this is a cargo platform. So those two are cargo. If we get rid of this, so if we get rid of that track, and that, and then we can put a track there like that, and then a passenger platform. So two cargo, two passenger. No, there's no multiplayer in this game. Now we need to get that line past that thing. An extinct pigwin. Welcome back. Don't forget the station building. Well, oh, was it destroyed here? You scumbag. We had one. What an absolute scumbag. for now. It's the cargo platform's so much wider. You've got to like, you know, the gap that you've got to reach back to is so much bigger. Okay. Oh no, I definitely had a passenger building here. I think when I deleted the platform, it trashed, it trashed that as well. <clears throat> they could do with their own dedicated stop, really. I'm have to build one here and trash a load of stuff.
Right. So we've got a four lane, but at the moment, two lanes are going into cargo, two are going into passenger. Fusion distress, welcome back. So we need a way of crossing over from this part to this part. Which is interesting. But it has to be done before it has to be done as close to this join as possible, and then you get maximum benefit from that. Happy anniversary. Do the town cities expand on their own? Yes. So you basically give them what they want. If you look at a city's needs, if you click on the city name, it tells you what it needs. So if we can bring in food and construction material. It will it will grow more rapidly. They all grow at like ten percent or something, but because we're bringing construction materials in, that adds a bonus of ninety percent. When we start bringing in food, that's going to give us another bonus. And then here it kind of tells you what's what percentage of passengers are moving around on public transport. In other words, you and what are trying to get around using their own method, which is private transport. So you obviously want to capitalize. You want, to, you want to increase this, basically. And then down here, it's you, you can get deductions and things. For example, the amount of noise, you know, that's kind of suppressing the growth of the city. It's a bit of a wishy-washy on this one, the emissions thing. <clears throat> what is it? What time is it where you are, fun official? Um, is it the or is it the? I think it's the. That's the shortest crossover I can make from there to there. <clears throat> I don't know how this is going to work, to be honest. We'll just have to play with it and see what it looks like. Welcome back. Uh, Ado, Adobe, thank you for gifting a sub to Lexendary. Welcome to the house Lexendary and Carthanax. Welcome back. So that goes onto that line. Likewise, they would possibly want to go onto that line. Too much curvature. Okay. I'm willing to bet money you can't cross over. <laughs> like, that's not going to happen. We might have to do that here and then another one over here, maybe. <clears throat> uh, White Eagle, thank you for 39. Uh, thank you, Michael. So with that set up, traffic can go that way and get back that way. But since I can't make a crisscross, I'm going to have to put another section down here. So I'm guessing we want to have like a section here that's long enough for the longest train and then allow traffic to go back the other way. So something like that. Although I don't think that's long enough. So maybe like that. And then we've got to signal this monster. Oh my god. Right.
Just gives you a headache just thinking about this. <laughs> You don't need exit signals. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> so here's the thing, right? And this is going to be very hard to draw. <laughs> AN4211, thank you for giving this up to Micah, the designer. Welcome. Say, say a train's coming along here, right? Actually, let's just make it simple. Say a train's coming along this top line. When it goes past that signal, <clears throat> it's because this block is free. Yeah? Which means when it's in this section of track, nobody else can use that section there, or indeed anything coming down this line, or anything in here, until the train here exits the next signal. In other words, this one. So if I don't have this exit signal, if I have this exit signal all the way down here, right, then when a train enters that signal block now, it will not clear the block until it reaches all the way down here, which means nothing else can go through that junction. That's why I have exit signals. Now, if I've got that wrong, please explain to me why I should be doing The only thing I'm going to do <coughs> is make these as short as possible. I still don't like this though. <clears throat> the reason I don't like it is because any train, like I think what's happening here, I think the way this is going to work is any train that goes into this block, I think the whole four lines are going to be blocked, which sucks. <laughs> So as soon as one train goes here, everything on the other three lines won't be able to go through. Well, flipping the platforms in the city is not really going to help either because we still have passenger trains that are going to go to Ho Chi Minh. So they're going to go on that line and passenger trains that are going to go off on this line. So passenger, passenger trains still need to go that way and that way. It, it really won't make that much difference reconfiguring this. Not all four lines will be blocked, only, the, only that one will be blocked. It won't block as long as you have, as long as it has open line to go. Mm, okay, well, I need to see that in action.
bet the pathfinding in this is going to go absolutely crazy. One out on pause it. Right. Welcome back, Plateau. Right, that's what it thinks it's going to do. <laughs> now I've got to optimize it. Uh, Danny Chill, welcome back. Now I'm going to work out which of these are combat train, that's cargo. That one. Is that a passenger train? Something not right here. I think we might have to unpause it for it to figure something out. This is odd. You have to remove the stop from the route and add it again. Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay. You're right. Hmm. Hang on. Do the double reverse dance. <laughs> reverse, reverse. Ah, yes, I get it now. It's <laughs> not happy about this, though. Stations with known problems. Wow, look at all these passengers going. Oh, great. So I've been standing here for four weeks, and now they tell me this is a cargo service, and you have to go over there. <laughs> it's not like walking back and going back up there. <laughs> well, it looks mighty cool. I hope it actually works. Something's still not right, though. the line. Maybe I just need to remove and add it again. Uh, is this a passenger run? Yeah, it might be because it's pa I think I know what it is. That's better. Same problem. There we go. Yay! It's worked. Oh man, those passengers all rage quit, look at that. 
They didn't just walk to the next platform, they literally rage quit their journey. That's pretty cool. So now we can think about bringing grain into here, which is the whole point of doing that. So we need to get grain out of there and we can just chuck it on that line now, I reckon. We could just branch off. I think Discord's behaving weirdly, that's why. Wait, what game? Seriously? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Not. It's too close. It's way too close. Get rid of them. Cool. Is it possible for trains to collide? Mm, I don't think so. So this is Pyongyang uh, food, I believe. We just check which platform right so it's going to bring it in on this empty platform i do like that i do like that it works out there's a platform not being used so it uses that in preference there we go. right so can we get a train on that line that's the next question the answer is yes no yes yes we can That is a Russian F with six food cars. I don't know, we'll have a look in a sec.
Not enough money. Remind me to repay the loan. Right, that was a lot of building. So, Pyongyang food is not getting anything yet. <coughs> I completely spelled that wrong. They've got loads of uh, grain. So that's just a production capacity problem. I think once this second train starts moving food, that will pick up massively. And then... Because this thing needs to expand. It really does. And next thing we're going to do is stop this other contention block, that one. I need to see what happens when a few trains come through here. <clears throat> I can't afford to repay the loan yet. I don't have the money. Yeah, but Costel, they also transport a lot more goods. So you don't need as many cars, and it's future-proof. <clears throat> Oof. See, there you go. Did you see that? Did you see that then? He stopped because he was on that block. He had to wait for him to go through that block. But he started to go because, presumably, because he's passed that signal. <clears throat> Okay, that, that shows that they can indeed pass through the same section. So it looks like the routing's a bit smarter than I thought it was. Wow, look at our money. Rip. <laughs> we were doing so well. You can't put signal... Well, if you put signals in the crossover, it's going to get really messy. Pyongyang is such a busy place. Oh, my God. Uh, Kate Nate, thank you for 38 months. Yes, you. Sure. Currently, he's blocked from leaving because of him. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, Rosemobile, thank you for 55 months. J 
James Whale. <laughs> Wait, wasn't he a radio presenter? Thank you for subbing James Whale. Welcome to the Net House. I remember James Whale in the... the 90s, I think he was. he was. When he first started on local radio, he was very, very acidic guy. Like, he was rude to people, just cut them off. As a radio presenter, it was pretty, uh, pretty toxic. It means the station doesn't have its own stop sign. Kind of. I don't know. The best he could have done is gone to the end of the platform, I guess. I do wonder what would happen if if you built two-way signals on either side of the track. Then. So you did that. What was that two-way thing I just had? Like if you did that. Does that make it slightly more efficient? That means that the contested section is literally just the X. Trains could block exits now. Um, yeah, I guess that allows them to come through to here and stop now, doesn't it? Which is not what you want. So that's not that's not good. It's an optimization that doesn't work. worth thinking about. You've ordered two. What do you mean you've ordered two? Oh, you mean transport for you two. I thought you meant you'd ordered two copies. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's working pretty well, Mickey. You feel like a kid waiting for this game. <laughs> it is very much like a, I don't know, because it, it, it's a sandbox game where you build your own little train set. It is a very kid thing to play. Uh, AN, thank you for giving the sub to Zaragon Art. Welcome, Zaragon. Ooh. Is that a tram? That looks like a, a very long, fast tram to me. See, we still need to have that track join onto here, but I kind of want to avoid this one coming in. Rather get this one underneath, I think, and then join it in. I don't want it to.
If only that would work. There's an electric tram, was it? Nice. distance you need to build a bridge in this game is unbelievable <laughs> Stewish, thank you for 20 minutes no, the tunnels even work Vehicle emissions can slow down urban growth. A layer shows where the emissions are high. Oh, God. And a new C40. Oof. <laughs> I'd say we've got a few emissions here. I think it's got trams. I don't really know what it's supposed to do. Can't exactly make quite a tram. Maybe you can make the main line into a viaduct and cross the stone line under it. On the stone line to the side before viaduct to the main line starts. I don't really want to mess with the main line like that though. To make a viaduct means elevating it. Which means slowing it down. I'd rather slow the stone train down. It's literally just one line. So I'm quite happy to just go over the top with it. I think what we can do as well is add another track on this side to make like a bit easier. Is a bridge better than a tunnel for the stone line? Not necessarily. The If you go over a bridge or under a tunnel from A to B, you still got to spend the same amount of energy. Yeah? Whether you it doesn't matter which way you go. The only thing that's gonna might potentially change is the gradient, like how deep you go or how high you go. But looking at that when I was dragging it around. It definitely wanted a longer run for the tunnel, which implies that, I don't know, one is like shallower than the other. The potential for one is less than the other, I think. I don't know which way is which, though. Hey, Famine. Good. Oh, 
Right, so if we delete that section of front now. Why can't it? Oh, I know why. No, I don't know why. Why can't it just reroute? Oh, it wants a different platform, isn't it? Ooh, the Russian Class S and the Suburban. That looks quick. 115. 115 kp kilometers per hour. I'll pause that now. Zoom in on... Okay. Yeah, Vrom, I'm no doubt they'll come up with some new tracks soon. <laughs> 